please welcome to the stage icon grandmaster Tony Hewitt. Now I know why Jerry had me do this job. He doesn't want to go after Claire, and he doesn't want to go before his wife. So he put me in the middle. And Jerry, I was, lis I was listening to Jerry today, talking at one of the critiques, and he said, always remember, one button on the jacket, do it up. Two buttons, don't do it up. Three buttons, and I got lost. So I was standing down there going, one button, do it up. If I don't do it up, will he be upset? Doesn't matter. Oh man, that was a great start. Was it a great start? What do you think? Wow! I was sitting here and I'm thinking, you know, Jerry and Melissa are all about community and family and that's what Icon's about. I don't know if Jerry and Melissa had had the chance to look around yet, but that is one hell of an instant family. Take a look around the room. It's big. That's community. Jerry, uh, Jerry approached me a little while ago and he said, Tony, I'd like you to come up before we sort of really launch and, and introduce us. I said, oh, no problem, what do you want me to say? And uh, he said, you know, well, we can write a speech. I said, what do you want me to write? And he said, just do you. I said, well, what does that look like? And he says, I've got no idea, and I know that you'll get up there and it'll just come out, so strap yourselves in. I'm not sure what we're going to be talking about. But I can tell you this, after a few days already, the Icon Awards has a commitment to excellence. It celebrates the best, but it also fosters growth, and it supports creative inspiration. We can see that in the awards um, that were being uh, processed, the judging on Sunday and Monday, but we also had the chance to see it today and we'll see it the next few days when we have the critiques. There's some incredible accessories and add-ons to this whole event which you'll be picking up as we go along, but uh, I had to take myself back. I, I was sitting there earlier tonight and I was thinking, you know, two weeks ago I was standing on a beach at five o'clock in the morning watching 2,000 people and another 4,000 spectators but 2,000 people getting ready to dive into the ocean off my, my state, my home state, Western Australia, and swim 20 kilometres. Yes, that's right, that's about 14 miles. Starting in, uh, before the sun goes up, get, come, or comes up. And uh, it was pretty rough, and there'd been rumours they would cancel the event. And I thought, you know, you're trying to encourage the swimmers, and I had my uh, cousin's daughter there coming over from another part of Australia. So we're trying to encourage her and say, You'll be, you've got this, you've done the work. And she'd been training for nearly a year, doing around 20 to 40 kilometres a week of swimming. You've got kayakers and boats, and I thought, this is a big event. So anyway, they all dived in over about two hours in waves, and they started swimming. And about three hours into the event, when she was 10, mile, or 10 kilometres into the swim, they cancelled the event. And I thought, you know, how do people handle this? We were worried about it, and we finally got through to her on the phone. And she said, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. And I thought, that's great. And we had a little chat when she came back because I was worried how she would be going after that big build up. And she said, you know what, Tony? There's something that, we've, that I've learned through this process. And I think this is important. And that is, she said, I've trained for 12 months. And in that 12 months, I've become stronger, fitter, better, more skilled. I know myself better and I've got more confidence. When I came here and dived into the ocean, I, I found my courage. I was able to take on something that I wasn't sure I'd finish, but once I was into that swim, I knew nothing could stop me. Not finishing the race and having it stop did not change that one bit. And when I look at the people who enter these awards, when I look at the entrance who start for the first time, and I was talking to a couple of people just before this event started, sitting down at the tables here, and they said, you know, one of them said, I, I feel like I procrastinate. I feel like an imposter. I said, welcome to the club. We've all been there. And the procrastination part, I looked at them and I, I said, you know, where are you? You're in the room. You're in the room. Every single person in this room has started the journey in one way or another. You're in the room. Procrastination doesn't exist. And the other person looked at me and said, but what about plateau? What about when you reach that level and you look around and you just, you just flatten out? What do you do? And it's really quite simple. We all plateau. The trick is to just every now and then lift your chin and look up because it's just another step up. And if we've got somewhere to aim, if there's something out there in the, in the sort of distance for us to aim at, everyone is possible of reaching it. Helen Keller once said that alone we can do so little and together we can do so much. 
And that's what this community is about. It's a living example of that, that when you bring people together and out there in the wider convention, we have WPPI, in here we have ICON. It's about bringing people together where they can support each other in the growth, in the pursuit of personal best. When Jerry said to me, just be you, I think what he was saying, be the best version of you. And I want to share that message to every single person in this room. All you've got to try and do is be the ve best version of you. If that's the best photographer of you, the best helper of you, the best supporter, the best family member, just be the best version of you as you go forward. The hardest people to introduce in this industry sometimes are the people you've looked up to for a long time. Jerry and I have known each other for over 20 years and we share a common homeland, although he does have a bit of Greek in him, I understand. We also had a, a, somebody that we, um, had, we, we both employed at different times, who's been a dear friend to both of us in Sally Sargood. But when I think about the two of them and what they've done here, I think you all have to agree that it's a living example of just having a vision and being prepared to put one foot in front of the other until you get there. And we had a, an interesting moment at the end of the finals judging last night or yesterday afternoon when the two of them just stopped, sat on a chair at the front quietly. Melissa put her head on his shoulders and it was almost like they took a deep breath after a year and said, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, do you think they did it? I think they did it. There are so many things you could say about that couple. But I want to take a line from a Tim McGraw song. And Tim McGraw is one of your countrymen and somebody I've become quite fond of his music, country music. There's a song that he has called Humble and Kind, and I know some of you in this room will know it. But there's a line in that that says, when you get where you're going, don't forget, turn around and help the next one in line. And if anything ever summed up these two, it was that line. Two fantastic human beings, incredible achievements, and everything they do, and every, as far as they go, they always stop, they always turn around, hold out a hand, and help the next one in line. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with incredible pleasure that I invite two of the lumen, leading luminaries in this industry, and two people that will take this community a long, long way. Please give it up for my dear friends and amazing people, Jerry Guionis and Mel uh, Melissa Guionis. Let's hear it. Hear it. make you cry. You like that? Me too. You know we cry a lot, so I think you're trying to do it even more. That's what the word was passed around. Tony, thank you so much for that introduction. Um, to say that you were instrumental in the success of the Icon Awards would be an absolute understatement. Your passion for the craft Your passion for the craft, people, your positive energy has always been infectious. It brings out the best in you and everyone around you. There is no one else, Melissa and I, would trust to lead the purpose and help raise the level of excellence in the photography industry. People often call us control freaks, not when we trust you. <laughs> Melissa and I want to acknowledge that we simply couldn't have done it without you. So Tony Hewitt, you've been incredible. Thank you so much. Come over here. <laughs> now the running joke is this. People love me until they meet Melissa. <laughs> I'm okay with that because I get to spend 24 seven 
with you and that's not enough. She's the best start to a day that anyone could ever ask for. And my last intoxicating impression at the end of the day. I mean, look at this woman. <laughs> She's joyful, caring, never ending supply of positive energy, intelligent, fiercely loyal, and certainly beautiful in every way. The way you've nurtured every entrant, and I've witnessed this during the process and helping help action every idea that I've actually had with the Icon Awards, with such grace, is beautiful to watch. When I think of someone iconic, I think of you. <laughs> and if this was the Super Bowl, the camera would cut to her all the time and it would be okay. <laughs> well, we're just so excited to be here with you guys again this year. There have been so many changes over the last year and to see us all together in one room is absolutely amazing. Um, I actually need to say a big thank you. We want to say a big thank you to the reason that we are together in a room here at WPPI because WPPI has been so welcoming to the new Icon Awards from the very beginning. They gave us a home here, they let us keep the competition here so that we could all be together and enjoy it and still be a big part of this community. They didn't have to do that. So I want to, we want to say a big thank you especially to George and to Aaron and to Manir and to Arlene and Adam and Kellen for the hours and hours and hours that these guys spent with us to make sure that this was a success. They did it while they were taking time away from making the convention a success. They still made sure to make all this time for us. Thank you, thank you guys. Jerry, that was beautiful and so kind, but the hours of work that this man has done to make it here is absolutely beyond belief. This wouldn't have happened without Jerry championing the competition from the very beginning. I was nervous about going into this, but Jerry never wavered. He knew, he always knew from the very beginning how special this is and how important it is to our community. So when I wasn't sure if this was something that we should take on, and I wasn't sure if we should be doing this, he never wavered from his vision. Jerry's been entering competitions since 1999, and in that time, he's become the most awarded photographer in WPPI's history. He actually earned his double grand master, which means that he earned over 130 points from the scores on his entries over the year, and no one else has done that. I am so proud of this man's work over the years. It's an incredible legacy that he's left here, and that also means having accumulated all those points over all those years means that he understands exactly what it means to leave a little bit of your soul on the page when you enter a competition. He obviously can't enter competition anymore because now we're here, but that makes it even more awe-inspiring to me that he has taken it on himself to be the ultimate cheerleader for everyone else that's working so hard to get better at their craft. I know that you see us as a duo, and we are, 100%. But these changes that you've seen already in the last two days, and these changes that you're going to see over the next few weeks, these were Jerry's brainchild. They were his baby. I'm not a creative person in my mind. Jerry's the ideas guy. I'm a good doer. I'm a good executor. But if you enjoy all of these changes that you're seeing, and if you have an amazing experience, please thank Jerry, because they're his brainchild and his baby. So thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you, can I ask a huge favor? Can I ask a huge favor? For those of you at the back, can I have your attention, please? Everyone in this room, you've got the whole of Las Vegas and the rest of the hotel to chat. Can everyone be nice and quiet? Because in a moment, it's not going to be about us at all. It's going to be about you guys. 
and I want to make sure that we respect the awards that get announced. Everyone at the back, can you please pay attention? Everyone at the back, please pay attention. Excuse me, everybody, please. <laughs> Excuse me at the back, thank you so much. In a moment, we're about to announce some awards and actually invite new Honours of Excellence designations, and we want their moment to be special. If you want to have a conversation, do it outside, I love you to death. And if you want to make some noise, we're going to party hard at 10 o'clock and onwards. So thank you so much. Please respect your fellow entrants. Is that okay with you guys? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hashtag shut the hell up. All right. <laughs> All right, now we're talking, all right. So, react to what we're doing, cheer for your, for your fellow photographers, but when it's time to be quiet, it's time to be quiet, and when it's time to have fun and time to make noise, we'll do that as well. So, that's better, thank you so much for the respect, thank you. Being in this room is absolutely electric, and it's so exciting to feel it every single year. WPPI has always been so special because it attracts an international audience. And the first time ever, we have broadcast the two days of judging. You've been asking this for so long. And of course, tonight's award ceremony. We welcome an even larger audience online. Thank, to, thank you to Nikon for your absolutely incredible support. I know we use, we use all different tools, but credit is going to be given to where credit is due. The fact is that you're doing the wider audience and the community an absolute favor, and everyone thanks you for it. And Mike Corrado, where are you, mate? Okay, Mike, you're right there, okay. Mike, you always have a go at me for pronouncing Nikon, Nikon. <laughs> Tonight, I might just pronounce Nikon as Nikon, because Nikon, Icon, has a really nice <laughs> ring to it. By the way, if you're watching at home, we are broadcasting this broadcast right now using five Nikon flagship Z9 cameras. So thank you so much. Enjoy the show for that perspective. Tonight, you'll hear about so many people and companies that believed in the Icon Awards this year and helped make this happen. Graphy Studio was in the room, sponsor for the live judging, and they also printed the beautiful Icon Awards book that, you, of course, you can now purchase. And thank you also to Critique, who built the entire judging and critique platform that this competition is built on. So thank you so much for Critique for doing that. Thank you. Now, I want you to understand this and really fathom this. You'll soon be able to see the gallery of over 400 critiques from our incredible judges. That's video feedback where you can see annotations, crops, different things like that in a gallery that's free to you. It's public. It's anonymous, no one's name's attached to it. You'll be able to witness that and enjoy that forever. It's all part of our legacy. So thank you so much. Of course, you'll also see all the, uh, the award winners from our online competition, as well as tonight's winners on our website very soon. Thank you also to our partners b &H for supporting the critiques on the trade show floor. For those of you who didn't enjoy it today, perhaps we're wandering around at the Icon Awards booth next to the gallery. There's critiques going on all day. Thanks to B&H, and of course, thank you for Nikon for facilitating that as well. So thank you so much. Those expert judges that did our critiques will also be made available on our website as well to get critiques on demand. Image critiques on demand, I love that. Most importantly, this is a night that has been completely designed to celebrate all of you, to celebrate your work, your commitment to be iconic. It's such an honor for both of us to be able to witness your journey year after year, growing and learning as you enter the competition, receiving feedback and then trying new things and taking risks. Relentlessly focus on the process, not the result. Whatever your score or result, you either win or you learn. And that is worth celebrating tonight. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs>
and what Jerry just said is, is very true because we created the Icon of uh, the Honors of Excellence program for exactly that reason. It was designed from the beginning to encourage, educate, and motivate photographers to commit to their craft and to keep growing. It takes many, many years for you to accumulate all of your points and to reach each designation. What happens is every year your top four scoring entries contribute to your Honors of Excellence status. Starting this year, because we started with the digital competition, all of your points came from the digital competition that happened last year. So the way the designations and titles are determined is that you accumulate a certain number of points based on your score on a particular image. But we're doing something a little different this year. We're discontinuing all of the lanyards and the tokens and the things that used to get in previous years. No more. Instead, we are going to acknowledge our associates. We're going to ask them to stand, and we're going to celebrate them here when your name is called. Then for our masters and everything above, our double masters, triple masters, grand masters, we're going to ask you to come up on stage. We're going to present you with a trophy that will celebrate your new designation. And tonight, we are very excited that we can bring all of these trophies to our new masters and above. So you guys should be excited about that, is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get into this. We have a lot of new members tonight. We are going to start with our associates, our brand new associates. These are photographers that have achieved five or more points based on their scores. We have 22 new associates tonight, which is amazing. So when I call your name, please stand up so that you can be recognized. Everyone, please hold your applause until the very end so that we can hear everyone's name be called and celebrate them properly at the end. So when I call your name, please stand at your seat so we can recognize you. Our new associates for this year are Therese Asplund, Shannon Beauclair, Stephanie Blockwitz, Emily Pearl, Kat Ford Coates, Julie Gaylor, Christina Gresianu, Kamiko Hood, Shichuri Kuchi. Victoria Machine, John Macris, Tanya Malkin, Gary Martin, one of our volunteers, Charles McKean, Olga Melohina, Hannah Norette, Kimberly Smith Pennebaker, Alvaro Ruiz Noguez, Huminori Suzuki, Kalina Schneider, Ivy Tanglau, <laughs> Ashley Taylor. Congratulations to our new associates. Thank you. Yay. Okay, a master is someone who has achieved 20 points arm or more. These are all names that are probably gonna sound super familiar to us because we've been enjoying their beautiful work in the competition for years now. So when I call your name, please come up to the stage if you're here to receive your trophy, and then we'd love to take a group photo together at the end. Our new masters this year are Andrew Heorth. Savio Isha Isev, Rabi Maddy, and Kerry Martin. Congratulations to our new masters. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, go take a photo. Okay. Just me? Yes. Okay, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Wait, wait, oh, Savio, you are here. Yay. Never mind. We're going to do that again. Thank you, mother. Please. We're going to do it together. Congratulations, Savio. The six you got with the Z8. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A double master is someone who's accumulated 35 or more points. This year, we have five double masters. So when I call your name, please come up to the stage if you're here to receive your trophy and so we can take a photo together. Our new double masters this year is Chris Anderson, 
Salvatore Domino, Mark Duffus, Sarah Edmonds, Woo! and Martina Werenfeld. I just totally. <laughs> we'll flank you. There we go. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats. All right, now we have our triple masters. A triple master is someone who has 50 points or more. As you can imagine, this takes a lot of dedication over a lot of years. It is such a massive accomplishment to reach your triple masters. Tonight, we have four brand new triple masters, and they are Vicente Esteban, Natalie Lassini, Woo! Melody Smith, Farul Yavari. Congratulations to our new triple masters. The ladies are killing it tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for everything. Congrats. Thank you. Congratulations. You did it. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Can I just say one thing? It's not your turn. <laughs> no, there was a lot of noise. There was a lot of noise the whole night, and four gorgeous women come on stage, and everyone's just dead silent. <laughs> That's funny. So now I want to talk about our grandmasters because getting a grandmaster title is a career achievement. It's something that you just never forget. It's something that you strive for for a very long time because to achieve this designation you need to have at least 65 points. But more than that it just requires persistence and the ability to produce really good work consistently over many, many years. Since you now receive all of your Honors of Excellence program uh, points from the digital competition, since we're starting with that, we've adjusted the Grand Master requirements so of not needing to achieve a Grand Award at least once, now that you're getting all your points from the digital competition. There are many years that we don't even have a single new Grand Master, and that's understandable because it's so difficult to achieve it. But this year, we have two. Just really exciting. <laughs> I know somebody who knows a little bit more than I do about what this moment feels like because it truly is something that photographers work most of their life to achieve. As I mentioned before, in WPPI's 40 year history of awards and the tens of thousands of photographers that have entered over those 40 years, and Jerry has had the distinction of obtaining his double Grand Master, which is something that no one has ever done before. Obviously, you can't enter anymore, but you truly understand what this moment is for these two people who are about to receive their Grand Master title. So I think it's only appropriate <laughs> that you present them with their new Grand Master trophy. Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Our first new Grand Master is a celebrated wedding photographer based in Spain, but he travels all over the world for his weddings. He's been attending WPPI and entering this competition for over 13 years, and in that time, 
He has won countless gold awards, first place wins, and grand awards too. You'll often recognize his work for the way he incorporates strong architectural elements into his portraits to create an absolutely unique perspective. He is self-taught, and photography has been his passion his whole life. And he said to me once, it is a profession that was born with me and that will die with me. But to truly understand him, you need to not only look at what he has given back over the years, it's his heart that makes him a special human in addition to being an incredible photographer. He has taught countless photographers over the years, including right here at WPPI. The past year has been especially difficult for him and his family. Even though these adversities have happened, he has still found a way to be here and finally realize a dream that he has had for many years and that he's been working tirelessly and working towards. He's always been so humble, quietly goes about his business. It is my honor to welcome to the stage our newest Grandmaster Enrique Oliver. Stab everybody, this took a long time to get. A long time to get. Well done, buddy. Then you can do a speech. Come on, please. Lo digo de serio. Muy bien. Bueno. Gracias, yes, Jerry Guionis. No, no. We're going to go over here. We'll do, do a photo first. Ah, vale. You good? Okay, over here. You can translate. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, Jerry Guionis. Uh, for this grand master. <laughs> bueno, esto es un sueño, un sueño hecho realidad. Esta, esta, esta noche no lo olvidaré nunca. Y estoy muy orgulloso, muy orgulloso como español, como latino, como valenciano, de conseguir estar en las listas de los grandes maestros a nivel internacional. Eh, me gustaría darle un consejo a todos mis compañeros fotógrafos y fotógrafas que persigáis siempre, que luchéis por vuestros sueños, que, que no desfallezcáis nunca en conseguir un, un trofeo, un, un sueño, un, un trabajo. Eh, si nos valoramos nosotros, nos valorarán los demás. Y esto es la recompensa de, de todos estos años de lucha. Eh, Tal y como dijo mi compañero, mi compatriota, Antonio Banderas, actor español, que muchos conoceréis, eh, y que a mí me ha inspirado muchísimo en mi trayectoria profesional. Muchas gracias a todos y, bueno, estoy very happy, súper contento. Gracias. <risa> For those of you who don't speak Spanish, he said, I work my ass off for that, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you could have translated, I, I, yeah. It's all good, I love that. Our second grandmaster for this year has been a photographer for 30 years. His joy, passion, and consistency that's evident in his craft has truly been remarkable. His work, just like him, is all heart. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's all heart, okay? <laughs> Just want to translate that for you guys. Look, I married one of your people, all right? <laughs> we recently shot a wedding together in Melbourne and it reminded me of the best times we had learning the craft together. He gave me my first camera at the age of 15 and I wouldn't be a photographer without him. Please welcome our next icon grandmaster, my big brother, Nick Guionis. <laughs> 
And Nick, if you're watching from Melbourne right now, I'm letting you know that everyone is giving you a standing ovation. <laughs> so Nick couldn't be here, so he sent us a video. Have a look at the screen. Thank you so much. Hey Jerry and Melissa, I hope you guys are having an amazing night. Um, I just received this in the mail, Icon Grandmaster. Thank you so much. I'm so stoked to be part of your inaugural event of um, the Icon uh, Awards. It um, has been a journey for me and I'd love to basically thank a few people who have helped me along the way, not only as a photographer but also in my business. Um, and so I want to say thank you to Rocco and Cora. Your printing is absolutely sublime. You and Tanya from Capture the Print have been an amazing support, so thank you so much. Annie and Graffy, uh, Graffy Studios, your albums are just second to none. Oh, just amazing and to see my work in there and, and, and to present to my couples. The, the, the smile on their faces is just amazing, so thank you very much. I also want to say thank you to Andrew from Fundy. Um, you guys, you guys rock, mate. Just every friggin' designs and possibilities that you have given us has been amazing to, to basically present our work and to help our business along the way. So thank you very much. I love your um, your goal setting and your marathons, by the way. It's been great, very good inspiration too. Um, to my friends at PWS, the Greeks, um, you guys have been amazing photographers. I've, I've um, made some really good friends and bonds over the years. I won't mention you guys individually, just in case I miss someone, because you know how Greeks can get really offended. Um, but either way, thank you so much. Um, my workshops and seminars in Greece have always been a highlight, mm -hmm. and uh, thank you. And finally, my beautiful, gorgeous wife, who basically just is amazing. Um, we do this together, everything from you know, my crazy ideas to her crazy ideas to whatever we do, everything we do, we do together. And without you, my love, I couldn't do this. So thank you so much. Have a great night. Have a drink on me, um, maybe two, because I can drink. Not really well though these days, but anyway. Thank you very much guys, have, a, have an amazing night. Bye. All right, now it's time to announce the results, finally, from the last two days of judging, what resulted in the last six months as well. It truly takes an army to put together this competition. And one of the biggest keys to the success it is an incredible volunteer team that comes together each year. This year we had over 40 volunteers working tirelessly behind the scenes. We've had the absolute best team and we love you guys so much. We had several panels of, sorry, we had several panels of judges spend many hours over the two days reviewing all these finalist images and it was breathtaking to watch. We'd like to say an extra special thank you to those judges and to our chairperson, Tony Hewitt. If you're here in the room, we'd like our judges to stand up so that we can acknowledge you and thank you for your incredible contribution to this competition. Thank you guys so much. So guys, just before we announce the winners, let me tell you what every single category winner is gonna take home because we're giving away over 50 thousand dollars in prizes tonight <laughs> and it's all going to the person that said yes really loud <laughs> too late <laughs> all of our third place winners will receive the all new 15 in 1 omega reflector with a value of 135 dollars what an incredible invention who did that did that oh my god <laughs> All second place winners will receive a Platypod Elite Tripod Head with a value of $325. And all first place winners will receive a Westcott 8x8 Pro Fabric X-Drop and a stand at value of $340. So here's how we're gonna do it. If we announce you as a second or third place winner, we're gonna do it a little bit different tonight. As soon as I announce your name, you can actually go to these tables on my right against these walls and pick up your trophy right away. They have it all ready for you to go and to pick up. So as soon as your name is called, you can head on over. There's no need to wait until the end of the ceremony anymore. For first place winners, we're gonna ask you guys to come up on stage to collect your trophy. We won't be doing any speeches for this part, but we'd still really love to recognize you and celebrate you and grab a photo with you. 
Then, as you exit the stage, you can grab the box for your trophy and keep on walking down to the Level Up Imaging booth to have your portrait taken. You need to check out their setup. They generously offered to put that together using their all-in-one system that includes diffusers and reflectors and backgrounds. It's such an easy setup that you, can, you should check out for your own studio. But they set it up here so you can take a closer look at it and to celebrate all of our winners tonight. So make sure you head on down there to get your portrait taken. All right, here we go. We started, here's some numbers for you. We started with about 1,800 entries in our digital competition from this year, and it came from 39 different countries. So when we say it's international, it's seriously international. It's amazing. <laughs> then we had 235 finalists, which were the top 10 scoring images and equal 10 in each category. And those were what the judges looked at this past weekend over the last two days. So we're gonna begin with the wedding division tonight, and that's being sponsored by Canson Infinity. As a little bit of background information, there's no composites that are allowed at all in the wedding division, and all of these images were taken on the couple's actual wedding day. Now the first category in the wedding division is couple together wedding day, and that category was sponsored by Imagine. And the finalists are... And our first place winner in the Couple Together Wedding Day category is Savio Isha Isef. There he is. <laughs> Can I Woo! ask all the uh, all the ladies in the audience, um, if you have pockets, why, why is it such a profound thing that you have pockets in amazing. a dress? It's amazing. It's <laughs> amazing. Savio, come here, mate. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Savio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Alright guys, the next category in the wedding division is the Bride or Groom Alone Wedding Day, sponsored by Studio Ninja. And the finalists are... In third place, we have Manuel Iglesias Vasquez. The second place winner is Savio Isha Isef. And our first place winner is Mara Can Tell Me.
this lightheaded. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> the next category in the wedding division is the wedding party family and friends category, which is sponsored by Asset, album sales experience team. They're amazing. And the finalists are... already very familiar to us, Savio Isha Isab! category in the wedding division is the wedding photojournalism category sponsored by Pick Time. And the finalists are... In third place, we have Kathleen Gemma. <laughs> Not a popular winner at all, all right? Second place winner goes to Daniel Nidek. And our first place winner is John Macris. for that division. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Kansan. Just so you guys know, we're going to be announcing all of the grand winners a little bit later in the evening. We're going to announce them all at one time. So up next, we're going to switch over to the pre-wedding division. This division is for wedding styled images that were not taken on the wedding day. And just like the last one, there are no composites that are allowed in any of these categories either. The pre-wedding division is proudly sponsored by Pro Branding Store from the team at Photo Flash Drive. If you guys have seen all of the hoodies and the t-shirts, the I Am Iconic t-shirts, that comes from Pro Branding Store and they're amazing. We love Brian. <laughs> all right, our very first category in this division is the Couple Together Non-Wedding Day category. And the finalists are...
away the anticipation, but can I just say, this is my favorite part. Like, yes. I've been part of this from the beginning. Like, I've watched your entries come in digitally, then I saw your prints come in, and I've been talking to all of you guys, and like, knowing what I know and what you guys don't know yet, this is my, my favorite part, to see your faces when you know what's about to happen. So it's just, pardon my excitement when I hear some of these names. All right, in third place, in the couple together non-wedding day category, we have Nagayuki Kojima. Woo! And in second place, the winner is Yuki Miyoshi. Woo! And our first place winner in this category is Maro can't tell me. a speech, but Mara introduced me to the couple in that photograph that happened to be in Vegas. Can you guys stand up? There oh, we go. that's so cool! No way! Okay, can you, can you do a handstand and show us your legs so we can recognize you? That's so cool. Good for you guys. All right. That's them. <laughs> that's fantastic. Have you bought a wall, a wall portrait yet? The price just went up. <laughs> Our next category in the pre-wedding division is the bride or groom alone wedding day category, non-wedding day category. And the finalists are... In third place, we have Jack Wong. The second place winner is Susan Stripling. Man, I hope this guy booked an extra seat. Our first place winner is Mara Can Tell Me. <laughs> And the finalists are... Associate Christina Graciano. <laughs> and in second place, we have Tomokazu Kamiya. And our first place winner is also Tomokazu Kamiya. <laughs>
makes me so happy. Look, look, I just that love smile. it. That smile, that smile. I love it. Well, that concludes the pre-wedding division, which was proudly sponsored by Pro Branding Store. Uh, just love them. <laughs> We're going to be announcing, as a reminder, the grand award for the pre-wedding division in just a little bit. But for right now, it is time to announce the winners of the portrait division. This is a big one because there are eight different categories in the portrait division. And it was proudly sponsored this year by Westcott, who are also providing all of our first place winners with an incredible prize. So thank you, Westcott. Just like in the previous divisions, there are no composites that are allowed in these categories. All right, guys, we're just gonna ask the room to be quiet because these are some big winners and they've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Right. And I just want them to hear their names. Thank you. Oh, you don't wanna see Melissa mad. <laughs> All right, our very first category in this division is the maternity category. This celebrates pregnant people that are photographed individually or in a group. And it was sponsored by Homespun Heart. And the finalists are... different they all are. It's amazing. All right. In third place, we have Mauro Cantomi. It's, I mean, it sucks. Third place. <laughs> are you right, mate? Are you okay? <laughs> and in second place, we have another underachiever, Savio <laughs> Isha Issa. Side little story about this. This is actually Savio and his wife. It's a self-portrait. How beautiful is that? Yep. And our first place winner in the maternity category is Martina Werenfeld. category in this division is newborn and baby or you should have worn protection or... <laughs> wow come on <laughs> it's our show we can do all we want <laughs> all of the subjects in this category are under one year of age and pro select is the proud sponsor for this category and the finalists are In third place, we have Margaret Fistig. Second place winner is Kelly Brown. Woo!
Hey, Kelly, someone beat you. Kelly Brown. <laughs> We saw the roof <laughs> Yeah. All right, our next category is the children and teenager category. This category is sponsored by Interactive Images. This category features children that range from the age of one years old all the way to 19 years old. And before we share the finalists with you, I have a very special announcement. This We're pregnant. No, no, no. Wow, that's not in there. <laughs> what I wanted to say is that- It's a boy. Nope. <laughs> this category has grown so much over the last couple of years that I'm really excited to tell you guys that starting with the next competition, it's going to be divided into two categories, children and teenagers, which I know you guys have been asking for. So there it is. All right, we're so excited we could do that. It's been a request for a while. But for this year, let's see who the finalists are. We have Erica Lip. Can, guys, you have to see the making of this photograph. It is absolutely incredible. You it's made, in the gallery. It's in the gallery. You get to see this were made. This is a real photograph done masterfully. And Erica shared the behind the scenes of how she made it. So definitely go look for her photo in the gallery. It's awesome. Uh, sorry to embarrass you, Eric, and just call you out like that. <laughs> All right, in second place, we have Kelly Brown. <laughs> and in first place, it is Hannah Norette. <laughs> sharing that with us. That was amazing. Thank you. Our next category in the portrait division is the individual category, sponsored by Level Up Imaging. And the finalists are... In third place, Jen Hargrove. Yeah. 
That's a day after Christmas. <laughs> yeah. The, the second place. It, no, the title is After a Billion Rooftops. It's actually After yeah, a Billion yeah, Rooftops. Yeah, it's there awesome. you go. Yeah. All right, I got it. <laughs> the second place winner is Alvaro Ruiz Nogues. And our first place winner is Shannon Beclair. Our next category in the portrait division is the groups and families category, which was sponsored this year by Aftershoot. So this category celebrates relationships with two or more people. So you have more than one person in the portrait. And the finalists are... We have Kenji Mizuno. And in second place, we have Rachel Lee. And our first place winner is Adam Horrigan. is the Boudoir Fine Art Nude category, sponsored by Lead Savage. And the finalists are... In third place goes to Shannon Beauclair. Our second place winner is Therese Asplund. And our first place winner is Fiona Elizabeth. by Hannah Mule. We're about to see a lot of cuteness right now. Let me warn you. All right, let's take a look at the finalists. Judy Kulchi! Shoot ya! And in second place, we have Christy Odom! <laughs> and our first place winner is Belinda Richards! category 
Gallery for us this year. We're very excited about that. This is the Portrait Vision, Portrait Narrative category. It's a brand new category, and of course, it features story-driven images that can include birth photography, street and travel photography, and non-wedding events too. And the finalists are... In third place, Jeff Gabriel. That was a hard secret to keep, let me tell you. <laughs> Our second place winner, Joseph Victor Stefanczyk. Or JVS. <laughs> and our first place winner is Michael Kennedy. sponsored by Westcott. Thank you so much, Westcott. We're going to announce the grand award winner for the portrait division very soon. We're getting close. But now, before we do that, let's find out who all of the winners are in the creative division, which is being sponsored by Epson. The creative division is really fun because photographers get to use a wider range of tools and techniques and with all of their entries. It's also the only division where you can enter composites to create your final image. But it's important to note that not every image that you'll see is a composite, it's just that it's also allowed in that division. Uh, never, though, are stock images ever allowed in this category, or any of them, by the way, or um, any images that were used, uh, created using AI. That's also not allowed in any of the categories. All right, our very first category in this division is the Wedding Creative category, which is being sponsored by Aftershoot. These are all real Im uh, images that were actually taken at real weddings on their actual wedding day. So the finalists are... We have Gerber Jahal. It's not, it's not banding. It's not banding. No. <laughs> and in second place, we have our newest grandmaster, Enrique Oliver. And because he likes to not do anything halfway, our first place winner is also our newest grandmaster, Enrique Oliver. The next category in this division is the pre-wedding creative. 
These are all going to be pre-wedding or wedding styled images that were taken before someone's wedding day or within one month afterward. And the finalists are... In third place, Joe Lai. Our second place winner is Rachel Owen. And our first place winner is Lester Miyashiro. everyone's because of how many incredibly creative pieces come through this category. It was also our biggest category and had our highest number of finalists this year. That also makes it one of the hardest categories to win. I'll wait. All right. Before we show the finalists to you, though, I have another announcement. This category is so big and it is so massive and so difficult, we are gonna divide this category as well into two next year. It will be Portrait Creative Individual and Portrait Creative Group. Yeah. But for now, this year, let's look at our amazing finalists. To see, to, to see what those images actually look like when it's quick on a screen like that, please, please, please go to the gallery and take a look at these images up close and look at every single detail, like the details in all of the little pieces that you so easily could miss is mind boggling. Keep in mind that entrants have to photograph every little single piece that they enter, so it's just impressive. In third place, we have Kimberly Smith Pennebaker. And in second place, we have Richard Wood. And in first place, Richard Wood. Fashion beauty category 
category sponsored by the Omega Reflector. And the finalists are... In third place, Ivan Duran. <laughs> our, <laughs> our second place winner is Emily Rathsam. The story behind this image is absolutely beautiful. So this is, a, I'm gonna say this a few times because I've seen all the videos, but please go check out this one in the gallery as well. It's such a beautiful story and the meaning behind everything. So you gotta go check it out. And our first place winner is Rachel Owen. <laughs> If only she was more popular. <laughs> All right, our final category in the creative division is the open creative category, being sponsored by Capture One. And the finalists are... We have Tanya Malkin. And in second place, Steve Scalone. Steve's watching us from home. Love you, Steve, in Melbourne, Australia. And our first place winner is Sothidi Sadafis. <laughs> That concludes the Creative Division, <laughs> sponsored by Epson. Thank you so much, Epson. <laughs> we'll be announcing the Grand Award winner for the Creative Division in just a few minutes. Our last division for the evening, is very close to my heart, is the In-Camera Artistry Division, sponsored by SanDisk Professional. This is a special one because it promotes photographers' ability to get it all done in camera. The judges looked at the entrance, raw files, and no adjustments can be made. Our very first category in this division is the wedding in-camera artistry category, sponsored by BenQ. Beautiful monitor, I want that one that we judged on. <laughs> Massive. These are all images that were taken on the actual wedding day. And the finalists are... you're looking at. It's amazing.
amazing. In third place, Mike Shen. Our second place winner is Gerber Jahal. And our first place winner is a fellow Greek, Yanis Makris. <laughs> something what? Um, if you guys are really enjoying the slideshows and the production value of this mm. um, the slideshows were all produced by Jason Neistat where are you mate Jason Neistat congrats <laughs> incredible Adam our production team and all of the crew here you're doing an incredible job thank you guys we're down to our last category you guys very sad we have a bit more to come because we have all the grands and things, but our last category for the evening is the open in-camera artistry category, sponsored by Capture One. Again, these are all raw files that you're about to see, and the finalists are... Cassandra Jones. In second place, James Musselwhite. And in first place, Chris Anderson. Artistry Division, and a big thank you to Sandisk Professional for sponsoring that category. So now that we've announced all of the first, second, and third place winners, let's find out who has earned the grand award for each division. Remember, the grand award was chosen by a panel of judges by looking at the first place winners in each category for that division. Thank you, guys. It's a big moment, guys. It's a big one. Thank you, thank you. We want to say a massive thank you to ProCam, who is sponsoring all our grand awards this year. This is pretty cool, guys. ProCam has generously gifted a $1,000 gift card to every single grand award winner. Awesome. And if, like, if you're Australian, that's worth like $3 billion. <laughs> that's true. It's true. <laughs> We'll ask our Grand Award winners to come up on stage and if they're here with us to say a few words. And of course we thought it would be only appropriate to ask some of our current Grand Masters, they've mastered the Grand of course, to present the Grand Award for each division. So to begin announcing the Grand Award for the Wedding Division, please welcome Icon Grand Master, one of our favourites, Tony Hewitt. <laughs> Oh, that way. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Jerry asked us when we uh, present these awards or announce these awards to maybe just share a little bit about our own experience. And I'd spent many years coming to WPPI and hoping to get a grand award and then to hopefully become a grand master and it wasn't happening, partly because I couldn't enter, but one year I couldn't come. Uh, not that long ago, and Jerry said, you've got to enter, man. He says, you're not going to be here, enter the bloody competition. You're only a couple of points away. So I did. Forgot about it. I was down the beach having a surf, got out, it was raining, sitting in my car. I get a message saying, have you got a minute? We're doing the awards, you might want to see the intro. I said, sure. So I sat in my car, my hair was wet, <clears throat> I was in a T-shirt, 
and I had my phone on the, on the steering wheel and I'm looking at it and uh, Jerry says, oh, I'll show you what's going on. He showed me around. He said, oh, by the way, you, you've, you've won something. You've won a co category. I said, oh, wow. And then he said, don't go away. You might like this. He said, yeah, you took out the grand. So I was sitting there and then, of course, he then said, before you go any further, um, you, know, you might want to watch this and they announced a the grand master. And I was sitting in the car in a pair of board shorts and a T-shirt and I thought, this is embarrassing. But at least it's only Jerry. Until he took the phone and he said, oh, you might want to see this is on the main screen and all your friends can see it. <clears throat> it's an incredible achievement. And the people tonight who have received the grand awards and those that received their grand masters should be very proud of themselves. It's a commitment to the industry. It's a commitment to their craft. It's a commit commitment to themselves. It comes through hard work and perseverance. And what I'm really proud of is that every single one of those people tonight who want, got their grand masters are people who I know turn around and help the next one in line. It's with a lot of pleasure that I would like to announce this grand award, which is the wedding category. And the grand award in this category goes to... See, Jerry, you wanted to know how to get people to go quiet. <laughs> That's how you do it. Maro can tell me. goodness. Um, if it wasn't for these awards, guys, I wouldn't be the photographer that I was today. Um, WPPI, the Icon Awards, every wedding that I go out on, it just makes me strive to be a better photographer. But not only a better photographer, a better person, a better husband, a better father, I was going to say a better wife, but that doesn't make sense. No. Um, so, you know, these awards just aren't little awards that you pick up. They're not awards that, you know, they last a week. This is something that will last you a lifetime. And trust me, if I can do it, a lot of you guys out there can definitely do it. So thank you very much. <laughs> Last but not least, um, there's one great person I need to thank. And this is a person who had, is happy to not have me on the weekends for 30 years. And the real person who I dedicate this award to is my wife, Christine. I love you, Christine. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. And by the way, um, everyone at work, because I know you guys are watching, I, I couldn't, I couldn't have such an award without all your help in the in the background there you're all amazing and this award is for you two guys and Diana and Rob coming all the way from Australia thank you very much appreciate it rock on guys thank you To announce the grand award in the pre-wedding division, please welcome Icon Grandmaster, Kelly Brown. <laughs> All right, I was tempted a couple of minutes ago to go shh. But it seems we're all very interested to see who these Grand Award winners are. Four years ago was the last time I attended WPPI, and it was also the year that I was awarded a Grand Master of Photography here in Las Vegas at WPPI. And to say that... Actually, I'm going to steal Morrow's words. 
If it wasn't for these awards, I would not be the photographer that I am today. I am extremely grateful to not only this community, but to Jerry and Melissa to make sure that this carries on. And it's not just going to live on throughout this event, it's gonna live on forever. And that's something that we all should be extremely proud of. So I'm, I'm honoured to be here and to present the very next grand award in the pre-wedding division. Um, Mauro, Cantonel me, can you please come back to the stage? <laughs> everyone here um, because this beautiful little community that I really feel that I've belonged to for so many years is all thank you to everybody here. Let's all stay really close together and let photographers seriously be celebrated and with an award like this, an award ceremony like this, Jerry and Melissa, you guys have nailed it. So thank you. Please welcome Icon Grandmaster Susan Stripling to announce the winner of the Portrait Grand Award. So Melissa asked me to do this like, I don't know, like three weeks ago. I straight up forgot. So um, <laughs> this is gonna be real fun. I was on my way up and I was like, where is the teleprompter? It's right there in case you were wondering. They also asked us to talk a little bit about what print comp means to us. And I, all I can do is just echo everyone that came ahead of me. This is, I think, my 22nd WPPI. It took me straight up 15 years to get my grandmaster. It was exhausting. It was amazing. But I truly do, like the photographers before me, I credit who I am today as a photographer, as an educator, as someone who can stand up in front of you and read off of a teleprompter. Um, print comp has been extraordinary for me. I met the best friends of my life who I now own a building in Baltimore with through WPPI. I met my boyfriend who beat me twice already today in print competition, Bill Stank, so thanks babe, great work. And the community here is extraordinary. So when you enter ICON, when you become part of print competition, it's not just about sending your images out and hoping you win, but we all, okay, Morrow, like slow down next year maybe, like a little, so the rest of us can have something, like something. It's not just about winning, it's about seeing your images come up, it's about learning how to be better, it's about seeing the new winners, the new guard coming up and through, and the family that you make here is extraordinary. So it's so much more than just picking prints and sending them off although we love picking prints and sending them off and winning awards. So, I'm here to tell you about the grand award in the portrait division, and this image is absolutely incredible. The grand award in the portrait division goes to Shannon Beauclair. <laughs> She sent a gorgeous video to us, which we'll play right now. Hi, everybody. I want to thank you all for this amazing achievement and award. Um, I especially want to thank the Icon International Photography Awards, specifically Jerry and Melissa, who have put on just a world-class event from start to finish. To the judges, um, your comments your thoughtfulness, the attention to detail on 
everything that you did yesterday and the day before listening to you was just really, really inspiring. To all of the photographers who entered your amazing pictures blow me away. I, I am just um, really thrilled to just be part of this. Um, the photograph of my sister Laurel is um, obviously not easy to look at. Laurel is not well. She's sick. Um, she's still fighting. She's actually in the hospital right now. She has both um, MS and anorexia and has been um, dealing with this for a really, really long time. So um, I just want to say that it's important to take pictures, not just of things that make us feel good, but things that move us in, in a variety of ways. And um, I know that this photograph is not easy to look at, um, but it's, it's Laurel's reality and the overwhelming um, despair and um, heaviness that she feels on a daily basis is real and is sad and um, and it was important to document um, even though it was very very difficult and difficult for me so thank you for um, recognizing this award or this photograph um, Thank you to my family for supporting me, um, for my husband who always encourages me. Thank you to all the photographers out there that, um, that continue to inspire me. And I really wish that I was there tonight um, celebrating with all of you, dressed up, you know, with a, a drink in my hand um, and just looking at all the amazing images um, in the competition, it really blows me away. So I am thrilled um, by this honor and I'm really humbled by it. So thank you so much and have a really wonderful evening. And now please welcome icon Grandmaster Cheryl Walsh to announce the Grand Award winner for the Creative Division. So all I ever wanted was to get better. That was it. I came here and I would sit in the back and I didn't know anyone and I made every excuse in the book not to enter. I could never ever compete with the images we see here, ever. I was a middle-aged mom with a minivan. That was all I was, but I wanted to get better. I wanted that feedback. So I made a deal with myself that I would enter with the idea that I just wanted to improve. I would set these little goals every year, just you know, work on my lighting one year, my posing the next year, and I just, every year I get a little better and a little better and a little better. And finally, my goals got bigger and bigger as I improved. And ultimately, I learned how to print for myself and I printed my award-winning images that I won the grand award with. So that was my goal, and I achieved it. So what did that do for me? Well, it made me proud. It made me very proud of what I accomplished, and it gave me skills that I never had before, that I never would have achieved if I hadn't taken that chance. And it changed my business. I now sell fine art prints, and that's how I make my living. And that makes me really proud of myself. And now, I'm a middle-aged mom with a Lexus. <laughs> and the grand award winner in the creative division goes to my heart, Richard Wood. he receives his trophy and there's a video right and there's a video 
Hey everyone, thank you so much. Um, I'm truly honoured uh, to achieve this award. Uh, I'm absolutely heartbroken I can't be there with you all this year, um, but, but well done to everyone involved. Thank you so much to the judges. I watched a lot of the judging. Uh, very eloquent, so much experience there. And um, yeah, I, I, I honestly feel so honoured to uh, do this well in such a, um, an esteemed competition uh, involving uh, such incredible photographers around the world. Also, big ups to uh, Jerry and Melissa. Uh, in the words of a, a local hero here, <laughs> Sir Edmund Hillary, you've knocked the bastard off. Congratulations for such a fantastic event and um, rebirthing this amazing award system. So um, again, I'm truly honored and so sorry I can't be there with you all. Have a drink with me tonight. Um, to the people that um, I know and are friends, have, have two or three uh, responsibly. Um, but yeah, big thank you to everyone, um, over and out. And now please welcome Icon Grandmaster Mauro Cantalmi to announce the Grand Award winner for the In-Camera Artistry Division. Yeah, I know, you're fed up with me, I understand. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I guess just one last thing I wanted to say about what a, a, grand, a grand award does to you as a photographer. It just gives you that little bit more in your posture, that little bit of your chest out for when you go out on a, on a shoot, whether it's a portrait shoot or a wedding shoot or commercial shoot. It just gives you that little bounce in your step. It gives you that little bit more to dream and it gives you, most important, which I associate photography with and that is just having a good time and life in bloody general. Hey, what do you reckon, guys? Is photography the best profession in the goddamn world? And we are so, we are so lucky and sometimes I understand, you know, we all have our struggles. You know, you've got... Sometimes clients that can complain a little bit when they shouldn't. Um, little things like that. But you know what? Don't let that put, us, you know, put you down. Photography, like I said before, needs to be celebrated. Thank you. Now, um, I'm about to announce the grand award in the in-camera artistry division. It goes to good old Chris Anderson. <laughs> fellow Australian couldn't uh, be here tonight um, so he sent us a little video um, and he promised to um, keep his clothes on so that's all good all righty go for it hi everyone, hi everyone. Oh, my oh my gosh this is huge this is this is a bucket list item for me when Melissa and Jerry called me at home to give me the good news I may have said some bad words so I'm gonna try really hard not to swear on this video wish me luck um, congrats you guys on Icon. Watching the live stream looks amazing. It's so good to see the competition back. Um, I've got some thank yous. I need to thank Isla, who is the dancer in this image. I've had the honor of shooting Isla for at least 10 years. And uh, Isla, you're a freaking legend. Every shot um, of you is amazing. Thanks for collaborating with me so much over the last 10 years plus. Um, I need to thank Jacinta and Fiona, Isla's sister and mother. Together we were the crew that made this image and there's a lot of hard work and careful timing that went into it. So thanks you guys. The outcome was really good and I appreciate it. Um, I need to thank Azo as well for their continued support. I've got an Azo on my desk and that is how I make sure I deliver the best quality work to my clients every single time. So thanks Azo. A huge shout out to my network of photography friends. We, we work together to challenge each other. We critique each other. We support each other. I hope everyone has a friend group like this. I don't think anyone in our friend group would be where we are without that support. So thanks you guys. Um, also the biggest and most important thank you to my family who I love very much. Wanda and Bailey and Tara, you guys are always, always supportive of my crazy ideas like this image. So thank you for being there. I love you. I'm gonna go and collapse into a blubbering mess in the corner now. So while I do that, you guys have a really good night and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.
Congratulations, Chris. Okay, so I've said a few times now that you've got to go check out that image. It's a really great story behind it. So I want to just clarify and elaborate, I guess I should say, a little bit more on that. We have a great new feature in the print gallery that's on the trade show floor that you guys have to check out. I want to say a big thank you to Interactive Images because it's with their technology that we're able to do this. You go to the trade show, you go to the print gallery, you download a free app, and basically you look for all of the images that have a blue dot in the gallery card. When you scan that image with your phone, you unlock all of this content. It can be behind the scenes footage, it can be the maker describing how they did it. It's really super cool. So we just saw Chris Anderson's in-camera artistry grand award winning image, right? Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I just can't, I'm not I'm laughing. laughing, I'm smiling because I know what's coming oh. and it's really funny. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So that was an in-camera artistry, the rainbow circle, totally done in camera, which is amazing. So, <laughs> so Chris is one of those images that you can unlock that content and it is really good. So we want to give you an example of what you'll see in the print gallery and we wanted to do it sharing Chris's image. So if you go and you scan it, here's the video that you'll see on the print gallery. There's a gallery. lot happening in this in-camera shot, so buckle up, let's have a look. The subject is lit with a strobe and an RGB LED with a remote control. This flag frames the subject in black. The gimbal tripod head rotates around the axis of the lens. At the start of the exposure, that strobe fires, then the LED paints while the shutter is open for eight seconds. Add camera rotation and the LED paints through the full 360 degrees. Now cycle the LED color through the spectrum as the camera rotates. Fire that strobe using a second remote. Finally, choreograph the movement, the camera rotation, the LED and the strobe so we get a uniform shape and a subject at each compass point. See? Easy. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you why this is funny. Because it's been a challenging few weeks just to get here, right? We've had a long few weeks, but we saw this, and now every time we're like exhausted, it's three in the morning, and we really want to go to bed, but we have to finish so we can be here tonight. Jerry would just look at me, and we're like, like not looking good, and Jerry would go, see, easy. <laughs> sure. So thanks, Chris, for that. Oh my God, it's a gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Who wants to win 10 grand in pro photo gear? <laughs> it's time to announce the winner of the Pro Photo Luminance Award. There is an image in this year's competition that was selected for its best use of light by a panel of judges. We'll ask the winner to come up on stage and also receive a trophy. And the winner is Alvaro Ruiz Nogues. so sad. He was here, but he wasn't here. He's, yeah, he's here in the building. All right. <laughs> it goes to somebody else who cheers louder. <laughs> well, congratulations to Alvaro. We'll make sure he gets his $10,000 worth of Pro Photo gear. And thank you to Pro Photo for sponsoring thank that you award. So much. Amazing. One of the things that we're most excited about this year is the Icon Awards book, yet another way that we're celebrating print. It's a one-of-a-kind one legacy piece containing all of the award-winning images from this year's competition. Alvaro, look who's on the cover. <laughs> Coincidence, actually. That is, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, Mara, look who's in the book there, too. What a surprise <laughs> that is. Wow. So if you entered and scored an 80 or an above this year, that means your image will be in this book. Even if you don't have any images in the book, it's an incredibly inspirational piece with nearly 700 award-winning images. Thank you so much to Dario Righetto. Yay! <laughs> Yay. Dario Righetto of Love Edits for designing the layout and Graphy Studio for printing this beautiful masterpiece that you can see at the Graphy Studio booth. So you can buy it while stocks last or online.
So thank you so much. Thank you, Dario. Lots of those late nights. <laughs> we have one last big announcement before we kick off our after party. I recently approached many companies in our industry. I asked them to collaborate with us to create a one-of-a-kind scholarship that would help a deserving photographer build or rebuild their business and provide them with all of the tools they need to be successful. I was humbled at the outpouring of support and this scholarship. It's actually valued at $18,500. The winner will receive one of my five-day workshops in Las Vegas this April, if they're free, or in New Jersey in November, or there's some spaces left and go to jerrygunnersworkshops.com to book the rest. <laughs> Graphy Studio will provide a staggering $5,000 of a studio makeover that you can get wall art portraits, albums, you name it, to reinvent your business. It is amazing, yes. <laughs> studio Ninja are giving a three-year master plan subscription to their CRM valued at over $1,000. Lead Savage are providing a one-year subscription to their incredible marketing platform worth over $2,300. Pro Branding Store are providing promotional products and branding gear worth $5,000. Pro Select are gifting a six-month subscription to their complete in-person sales software worth almost $300. And Pick Time are giving a two-year subscription to their gallery, client store, marketing, and slideshow software. These are incredible companies that have stepped up to help someone in need in our community. Check those guys out. We received well over 200 submissions and I read every single one personally. So many touched me deeply and I truly empathize with the hardships that many of us are going through right now. When I first met the recipient of this scholarship, I was so impressed by her kindness. I also was amazed, <laughs> all the guys went, damn it. <laughs> I was also amazed at the underlying strength she had despite going through an incredibly tough time and challenging times. I not only believe this will make a massive difference to her personally and her family, but I also believe in her. I believe that as time goes on, she will have a massive impact on our industry and the ripple of effects will be felt by many people. It is my honor, it is our honor and privilege to announce that the winner of the inaugural Giona Scholarship is Emily Pearl. Keep some noise, make some noise, guys, make some noise. If I was entering this image, I would call it cockeye. Oh, Jerry. <laughs> Come on, that's funny. Come here, Emily. I can't believe what an honor this is. I'm so grateful to be here. I was telling my incredible friend, Rachel Owen, I was sitting next to her two years ago. Well, 2022 was my um, first time coming to WPPI. And I sat in this room during awards night and I just wanted to be here. And I wanted to make a name for myself that I could be, feel like a colleague to everyone and just, Thank you so much for the opportunity to keep continuing my journey. And thank you so much to all of you for the support. This community is so incredible, you guys, and I'm so excited. Thank you.
take this time. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a photo with you. Oh, photo, come on, oh let's go. Oh my gosh, get, get so excited. Come on, let's get a photo. <laughs> It's almost party time, guys. Hang in there. If you've been inspired to enter the competition, we'd love to see your incredible creations. This year's competition opens August 1st and closes October 1st. Remember, you must enter the digital competition for a chance to become a finalist in the next print competition. Nikon, Nikon. I can't tell you how many people around the world right now this means to, but this has never happened in the international community. You see how many countries are represented. You see how many award winners we have come from all over the earth. And the legacy that this is creating and what you've provided for the first time in the 40 year history that this has happened, I'm telling you, will last literally beyond us. Thank you, Nikon, for everything that you've done for us. And if, thank you for what you've done for me personally as well. You guys are absolute brilliant. Thank you so much. And we are forever grateful. So we thanked a lot of people tonight and made this, we've made this possible. But without you, there is no community. The I in ICON represents international. <laughs> Melissa and I have been running literally a marathon for a year to make this happen. And it has been a pleasure to watch you guys win. All right, guys, so let's get ready to celebrate. This is thanks to the support of Lead Savage. Get more leads, book more clients with streamlined marketing and automation, and make more money. So you can pay for more entries into the Icon Awards. <laughs> you are about to witness the most incredible performer. She's our favorite entertainer in Las Vegas. Please welcome the absolute brilliant, she's a combination of Aretha Franklin and Bette Midler. She is a genius at what she does. Party hard with Sky D. Miles. Everybody get on the floor and dance. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Where's my dancers at? Come on. Hey. Put your hands together. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Jerry told me this crowd likes to dance. We're not gonna make Jerry out as a liar, are we? I need everybody up on the dance floor. I am iconic, come on, y'all. Hey! Come on. You looking good, Jerry. Down around the corner, a half a mile from here. See those old Jerry running, and you watch him disappear without love. Where would you be now without love? Thought I saw Miss Lucy down around the track. I don't lost her home and family. She won't be coming back without love. Where would you be now without love? We still hear this. With the Illinois essential, with the Southern essential freight, you gotta keep it pushing, mama. Cause you know they're running late without love. Where would you be now without love? Come on, Sebastian. Hey. We need more. I need more. I need more of me and more of the horn.
Without love, hey, where would you be now? Give me those hits. With the Illinois essential, with the Southern essential frame, you gotta keep it pushing, mama. You know they're running late without love. Where would you be now? Without love. Say, where would you be now? Listen, the music makes the people gather around. The music makes the people gather around. Without love, hey, where would you be now? Come on, bass man. He got some moves like Jagger down there. Moves like Jagger. He's got the moves. He's got those moves. Without love. Without love. Without love. Without love. Without love, where would you be now? Hey, without love, without love, oh, where would you be now? Without love, ooh, put your hands together. Come on, keep it going, keep it. Hey, come on.